I reached out to Short because you know I've been cool with yeah, him forever. Yeah, that's like an uncle, man. That's yeah. uncle right there. That's uncle Show. He said that he used to pick you up from school, uh, pick you up uh, at your house after school. Yeah. And he, he used to talk to your mom and yeah. like promise to bring you home early. Yeah. Because your mom, I guess, didn't really trust the whole situation. Yeah. She she was like, you know, you got homework and shit to do. You got a lot of, you know. You want you to be in school, you know, this, this rap shit, you know, you might have to go to the army. I don't know what the hell you're going to do. You know? <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I better write the hell out of some raps because I ain't going to the army. Okay. Were you Spice One at that point? I was, um, I was MC Spice. Okay. <laughs> and I guess Spice stands for Sex Pistols, Indo, Cash, Cash and, and Entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Kind of feel like you made that acronym after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the name was already there. It's like, all right, what does it stand for? So... The, the the original reason why my name is Spice is because it was um you know it was it was this pimp named Spicy Mike mm. in my neighborhood and you know he used to let me drive his car and shit all the time you know what I'm saying I thought he was the shit he let me drive it to the store and you know I could like talk to a female and say hey girl you know let's go to the beach you know and he, I could, I got a car she, you know so you know eventually I just named myself Spice after that cat. Mm. Last time I talked to him, he was in, he was locked up. Uh, I talked to him in a while. You know, hope if you see this interview, what's up, Mike? <laughs> Spicy Mike. You don't actually sign a Too Short. Yeah, I signed to Too Short in uh, 80, 86. I signed to him that year. There's an album out called The Dangerous Crew. Okay. And you can see a picture of me on the back. Me and Fote. I'm on the back. Um, Sixteen years old. Uh, I was walking around school, passing out the record. Um, the song I had on there was called Leave It To Me. Let's see if I can look this up. Yeah. The Dangerous Crew album. Don't Try This At Home? Mm-mm. Let's go back further than That's that. That's further than that. Yeah. Uh, Don't Try This At Home was the, f- mm. the first Dangerous Crew album with everybody. But the first Dangerous Crew was right around the time Short had did Born To Mac and all of that. We was real young. Forte was like... 18. I was like 16. It's got a skull and bones on there, white and red, well, uh, white, red background with white skull and bones on it. Oh, I can't find it. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Anyways, we, we, we could, uh, I could look it up later. Yeah, you were looking at me in trip like I was 16, dude. Wait, well, is, it, is it this thing here? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. That's the Dangerous Crew album. Right? Yeah, that's the original Dangerous Crew. Uh, okay, I don't know if there's logo a, and I don't know if there's a back cover. To this, let me see. Yeah, I, I don't see a back cover, unfortunately. It's um, crazy. Okay, you're on the back of that. Okay, so you start rolling with Too Short, and Ann Banks is fucking with you. Yeah, Ann Banks came in the picture. I think I had just turned. Um, after we did that Dangerous Crew album, we, you know, me and Short, you know, we hung around. I seen him around, but he was blowing up, you know. So, and I was actually developing, you know, um, I think I turned maybe, what, since 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five years later, mm. I run into, to, you know, I'm the five years, years of Spice One development, riding around, rapping and doing my thing. Uh, I turned 20 years old, I say maybe four years later, because I still had, to, when I signed my independent deal with Triad Records and Georgette Willis, I was only 20 years old. I had to have my mom sign the contract. So, okay, and that's then, when I met Banks. Okay, and you put out the EP, Let It Be Known. Mm-hmm. And Banks did most of it. Yeah, he um, like the 187 proof beat and the uh, Welcome to the Ghetto. Um, I had did them myself, but I had to have Banks come in there and you know do his put his and banks to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Once he did that, it was on. You know, he tweaked the the bass and the, the 808 and all of that shit. Oh yeah, no, Ant Banks uh, contributed to the Bay Area sound so much. A lot. A lot. Really kind of was the Bay Area sound. The really whole sound. Really set the bar for everybody else. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you put out this EP independently and then you get signed to Jive? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the, once I put, 187 proof out, um, man, that was all that was playing. You know, it, that was all that was playing on the radio. That was all cars was driving by playing. That's all I heard, cars driving past playing. Um, and uh, the trip about that song, 187 proof, is that I, um, you know, that was the song that, 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 that catapulted me into, 
you know, stardom at all, you know, uh, for the, from the beginning. And I prayed. I prayed to be a rap star. Went to sleep, dreamt I was a rap star. <laughs> Walking down the street, um, it was some dude playing some music, and, 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 and you know, I walk up to him and I'm like, you know, what's that you playing? And he was like, Spice One, this the new shit. And this is me, this is my dream. Uh -huh. He like, Spice One, you know, this the new shit. And I'm like, you know, some said, man, stick your head in the back of the, in the car to see what, what made you famous. So I stuck my head in the car and I, and I heard, um, you know, the, the music to 187 Proof. And then I, I, uh, I listened a little bit more and I heard um, E Had the Nine and J the AK. And I'm like, you know, and I woke up and I'm like, you know, what the fuck is that? You know, who the fuck is E and who the fuck is J? And, you know, and it all came back to me like E and J is alcohol. And, you know, the, the math started kicking in. E and J is alcohol. What if they sold dope on the street called Hennessy? And I kept on going, you know. Mm -hmm. So I write 187 proof. And um, here I am. You know, I, I, uh, and I was just saying, you know, there is a God, like, because what? was that shit like I, I sat there and prayed to be a rap star and went to sleep and dreamt about a song woke up woke up woke, woke up wrote the song and here I am talking to you you know years later okay so the song starts to blow up around Oakland it's like an underground hit basically yeah you know because I remember back then like I remember like APG Action Pack Gangsters was like underground tapes that yeah. we would you know that's, that's who went and found the the lady Georgette Willis they were signed to her, mm. and they told her because I used to go over there and rap with them all of the time. Okay, in San Francisco. Yeah, and they, you know, they mm. found her and say, you know, we got this other cat named Spice. Next thing you know, she come to the turf where I'm where I'm selling dope at. Ask me if I'm Spice One. I'm like, yeah, looking like you. Oh, you want some crack and shit? Like, <laughs> I know you don't want no drugs. You don't look like you want drugs, but she just wanted a, a tape. So I gave her my tape, and you know, okay, took it from there. So then Jive stepped in. Mm-hmm. And you weren't actually signed to Too Short at this point, mm -mm. right? That was that was already done. Yeah, that was that was gone. Okay, so Jive came in and gave you like a long term contract, right? Yeah. How many albums? Um, what eight? Eight, eight albums. albums. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> that's unheard of these eight days. Eight albums. An eight album deal. Yeah. How big was the check back then? It was maybe what somewhere between. Uh, Three and four hundred thousand. Okay, so you don't actually get that right away. No. Right. So you're getting a little bit of money now. So at that point, do you stop with the with the dope selling and everything? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I, I quit. I quit doing that. Um. Um. Yeah. That, okay. You you're right. I quit doing that at that point in time because I got my first check. Right. Well, when I no, I quit when I got the first independent deal because I was making money when when 187 proof just released. Mm -hmm. I was getting money out. I got my first 15, 20 grand dope. off rap. You know, I was like, okay, I don't even got to sell no more dope and shit. Okay. So during those five years between you, you know, fucking with Too Short to the point where you got this underground hit, any really bad stuff happened along the way? Um, between, between me hook, plugging in with Short and... And actually having 187 proof. Cause you're, um, you're still you're still dealing this whole time. Like you're not making legal. Oh money. yeah, it was a it was a lot. Uh, it was a lot going on. Like that's when I learned, and it, that was in the middle of me learning how to sell dope, jack, um, you know, everything. So you you're robbing <laughs> you're robbing people. At that yeah, point. I was out there doing it all. At a, as a matter of fact, the when Short picked me up from school one day, I wanted to drive his car, and he was like. Nigga, you only 16, you can't drive, nigga. You ain't got no driver's license. You ain't getting my car took, fool. He was like, you can smoke a joint or drink a beer, but you ain't driving my damn car, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, give me a joint then. So, you know, later on that night, in short, remember this? Check this out, man. Then later on that night, you know, I went and stole a car, look just like the one he had. And I drove in front of his mom's house and started doing donuts. You know, he was posted up and he came out. He was like, man, Chico, quit doing them damn donuts in that stolen car in front of my mama's house, man. Get that shit from in front of my mama's house. I was like, I told you I could drive, fool. <laughs> and I was hitting, you know, doing donuts, smoking up the block and shit and drove off, you know what I'm saying? 
So, you know, man, he was, you know, sure, was, he was really like an uncle to me, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I was trying to prove something to him and shit. Okay. <laughs>